I'm here for the PDC 48 hour student competition and design, in this case, a primary care clinic based here in Phoenix, Arizona. They worked on um, the retailization of, of healthcare um, and the context for that was in uh, the dead mall and that's a, uh, a phenomenon that we're finding across the country in um, vacant retail spaces that are potential locations for healthcare spaces because they're meeting the customers and the patients where they're at. Our project is a um, tenant improvement for a local health and wellness clinic and the, their goal is to really focus on maintaining health. It's a primary health care unit where the residents can come and have their primary health checked as well as uh, understand their, their health needs. So all of our team members and collaborative efforts are really focused on looking at not only the workflow, but also the patient experience. Inviting people to have that treatment aspect, but continuing that care throughout their life. So they come in for a cold, they get treated, but then they're encouraged to come back to the space and keep using it for the wellness to you know, avoid having to come back for actual treatment. So bringing the, the different schools actually allows us to create an environment similar to a work environment where you really don't get to choose who uh, you partner with, uh, the people that you work with, and so really coming with an appreciation for uh, diversity and different thinking. Most architecture is going to be collaborative in nature. It's going to be done by large teams of people that come from different backgrounds with different perspectives, different areas of expertise, and our students need to learn how to work collaboratively in those settings. The diversity in teams when faced with a serious challenge not only creates this really inventive atmosphere, but really actually heightens the solutioning that occurs. I think the biggest difference with this hands-on experience is that whenever I'm in my studio classroom setting, I'm surrounded by other architecture students. I think too often um, for each discipline, we kind of get too focused on what we're specifically doing that we kind of forget about the whole picture and that there's other people involved as well. The difference is huge. I mean, I'm a construction science student, so it's kind of a management. Li liaison is all I, I'm supposed to do. But the brainstorming session is here are really the crux of uh, what I'm learning here. Especially for a design like this where we're so focused on you know, having a holistic design um, that all parts equally kind of have a voice and a say in the design. To be able to be like, hey, what's this? What's that? And then what would this staff space look like and what's the best case scenario for this to make it work? It's been a lot more stretching it's made me see that each step is actually 80 times longer than I think it's going to be. It's not a building. It's not, it's not just a brick and mortar. Apart from the doctors and patients, there might be a voice behind them. They're really important and their perspective got us thinking about um, the layout, where their office space should be, where their storage should be. I never thought it like that. So that's something I learned. It definitely gives me a wider view of what all goes into designing a space. Actually hearing from the people who work in those spaces and hearing the people who know, like, have a very specific idea of what it looks like and getting to learn from them and know more about that, I think is something that I'll be able to take back. Having nurses not only be a part of it, but an integral aspect in the building components, I think not only brings a different voice to the community, but also elevating those voices that otherwise aren't heard in the walls, such as our architectural partners, our engineering and construction partners. It's 
it's kind of cool to see how each team took the same project and um, had different ideas for it. The most memorable thing for me is taking a look at something so bare as a medium of a site and all the possibilities we can fit into something and kind of dreaming together and really seeing the synthesis of not only kind of a vision but also the end point and seeing how quickly we can evolve with that with a collaborative team effort. I have worked in construction projects but not like this environment. This is a whole new situation for me and building a healthcare facility to look at the retail modeling of it, it's, it's fantastic. I mean, I am having a great time. So I am really happy that I'm here. At the end of this um, competition, that I'll be more understanding of the perspectives of other people whenever it comes to collaborating on projects. I'll be able to see firsthand from this project um, the effect that certain decisions I make will have on those other disciplines. Our first place team is Team Two. What a great opportunity for nurses to have this opportunity from a liaison with uh, construction management, engineering, and architecture. We are really appreciative of McCarthy and, I, and NIHD in this opportunity. I would like to thank everybody who has joined us this weekend, especially my teammates. They have been awesome. Thank you to all the sponsors who have put this on and provided so many great meals for us, the great space, the hotel room, everything. It's been so wonderful and I feel so appreciative for being able to be a part of it. So I'd like to thank everybody that was you know, a part of this weekend. It was a really fun experience, I think, for both the students and the faculty. Um, we got great feedback from everybody and I think everybody's really enjoyed this weekend. I'm excited to see the final results from everybody and see what we all came up with. Thank you to Ashi um, for getting us here and for covering all the costs and everything. Thank you to my professor who forced me to show up because I've loved every minute and I would do it again in a heartbeat.